Alright, this is what I purchased. And it's a dumbbell set, of course. It says vinyl over here. And I believe my father had a vinyl dumbbell set. And I, if it is that, I didn't really like the kind of the weights, those big bulky ones. I didn't really see the point in them. But it's a 40 pound vinyl dumbbell set. And it was, if I can see the price over here so I can show you, it was $18.82 before tax, so it was about 20 bucks after tax. So it's actually a good deal. But anyway, so what you get is you get the two dumbbell handles, you know, the things you hold. Then you get four 7.5 pound vinyl weights. And then you get four 2.5 pound vinyl weights. And then four spring clips. So you have the clips to hold it onto the dumbbell. And then you have, basically, each, each side can be... 10 pounds or you can just use a 7.5 pounds but you know for just one dumbbell at a time but now I want to use both of them at the same time so I'm going to just do 10 on each side but anyways I do like it because of the price pretty much apparently it's on sale at my Walmart at least when I looked it up on the website it had a if I looked it up correctly it was about 37 bucks supposedly so it's actually pretty good and I did find one that I was actually more interested in. But no, the one that I was more interested in was going to cost a little bit more. It was going to be, I think, be about like 24 bucks, pretty much. And they didn't have the options. What I really wanted was a different one, but we didn't even have that one. So the other one, I was like, okay, I'll get this one instead. That one was going to be about 24 bucks. And then they only had 25 pound weights and then 10 pound weights. So there's really no point. And then I saw this, which was cheaper than that. So I can get this for now. And then later I can, you know, upgrade to the actual one I want when I go to a store that actually has them. But for now I can get this. So I'm happy about that. But uh, I did want to get a gym membership and I still do. And the guy did say he could get me a deal. Because I don't want to do a year membership, two year membership, which is cheaper. But I don't want to do one of those because my lease is up at the end of April. So there's really no point in me doing that. So I got this for now. And then when February hits, I'm probably going to sign up for that membership. Because I wanted to sign up for it when he actually told me about it. So what it is, is it's basically 50 bucks a month for month to month. Or he'll give me a three month membership and he'll only charge me $100. So it'll be a little bit more than if I did the 12 month membership. But it's going to be less than 50 bucks a month. So <laughs> I like it. Plus, I'm not, he wouldn't have me sign up. You know, they have like a signing fee or something like that. Processing enrollment fee. That's what it is. An enrollment fee. He wasn't going to charge me the enrollment fee. But if I did want the key that will get me into the gym when nobody's there, I would have to pay for it. And the key is going to cost me like 15 bucks. Which is perfectly fine. Because I'm used to gyms back home when you look at them. I used to go on the military base with my father so I'd have to pay for a gym. So for me... Any amount of paying for a gym is more than I really want to. Because I'm used to not paying for one. But, um, anyways, the gyms back home are about $50 to $75, including the classes. And including the discount when you sign up for automatic withdrawal. There is no discount for automatic withdrawal at this gym. That is just, I can just pay the bill as I go or I can do automatic withdrawal if I want. But, it's going to be 100 bucks for three months. Which is a lot less than the 75 bucks a month for all the classes back home at the gym everybody likes and says is the best gym and was the closest gym to my house so no i like this gym this gym is the closest gym to my house <laughs> or my apartment sorry closest gym to my apartment and it's only going to be 100 bucks for three months that's in the 30 dollar range that's in the range of what i pay for my cell phone or the range of what i pay for onstar so it's actually a little cheaper than onstar so and there's no tax on that it's just straight 100 bucks i'm good I'm just that's what it is not like 100 bucks and then tax it's just 100 bucks everything it's just done so i'd rather do that it makes more sense so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pro i'm going to wait because i do have something going on with that job i had right now um which i left by the way and here's what happened the job messed up on the system that actually pays me i did not have one and then they said they fixed it and they didn't they ended up linking it to somebody else she had my first name and my last name her middle name was different 
her middle name had the same initial as mine, but her middle name was different. Her date of birth is different and her phone number is different. And so some other things, be, and I know this because when it linked me to her so I could sign into it as her, which means I'm signing into basically her account is pretty much happening here. It of course shows her date of birth. That's not my date of birth. That's not my cell phone or my home phone or my name. Is <laughs> That's not me. And I had told them, and I couldn't get into the other system which links you into your how you get paid, which, you know, like your pay card or your bank account. I have direct deposit, so I wasn't able to get into that to check that they're actually going to send it to my bank account. I was wondering what is going on, so I checked the profile sex page, which is how I found out this other chick's information, and that I'm logging to an account for her instead, and that for some reason she's showing my hours. So I don't know if they created two accounts for her or what, but I'm logging in as this other woman. That's not me. So when I told them it was wrong they didn't do anything about it they weren't responding to my messages and then my boss had to message them to my knowledge they responded to one of his at the time or whatever and they ignored other ones and then he had to send this other person who was a trainer basically to go down there and have them fix it which then ended up being them giving him a form to come to us to have my boss fill it out and me fill it out and sign it and stuff like that and then give it back to them to fix that thing. Which wasn't really fixing it, it was actually just doing it automatic. So they did manage to fix it to where it was my name, my information, stuff like that. And they put in my hours manually. Basically is what happened. That's what that form was. Put in my hours manually. So at least it was fixed and I was getting my hours. However, the system didn't like me again for logging in which you have to log in with your social security number which is how we found out the other thing was not me which it makes sense because if it's not my name it's not my birth date or my phone number stuff like that it's probably not linked to my social security number which would make sense why it was not letting me log in to the system with my social security number so because the system within that system that does your um, hours that you get paid for so I finally got into that and that information is correct so that's good some of the other things they want me to sign up for did not work for me. They didn't seem to accept me. Don't know why, but they didn't. And then we have this other thing that, well, we also have an incentive card, which I never got. The woman told me that she gave it to me. She never gave it to me. Then she said that she, maybe she, she probably gave it to my um, TM, team manager. And then I was probably not there at the time, you know, on lunch or whatever. So they probably just locked it in a drawer somewhere and forgot about it. So that's what she told me. And then uh, she gave me a number to call the incentive card people to have them issue me a new card. So I called them and when I called them and gave them my address, the woman told me that's not the address they have for me on file. So they were given the incorrect address, which would explain why the permanent card, because the job only hands you the temporary card and then the actual company for the incentive card mails you the permanent one. That would explain why the permanent one is, <laughs> was never mailed to me. I never got it. I never received it in the mail. I should have received it in the mail. So, and I should have got this back in October. I didn't get it until December, by the way. But anyways, the day I actually got it in the mail was the same day that the same guy who had to go down there, you know, get the paperwork to do my hours manually and stuff like that to get my e my system fixed that says my hours what I'm getting paid for, was the same guy who came with my card because apparently now they had my card. The card I was supposed to get back in October, apparently now they had it so I got that in hand on the same day I had received my permanent card from the actual incentive card company so this card is completely worthless to me is <laughs> but at least I have it and I know that somebody else doesn't have my card and can't somehow link into my actual account so fine well they messed up on which was the last mess up and this was it for me was the mess up uh well not really the last mess up there's another mess up for this actually but the last mess up where i'm like i'm done i'm leaving was <laughs> with the thing that actually tells me when i'm supposed to be at work my schedule it's another system so the system that holds my schedule accepted that i existed but it didn't have any hours for me didn't have time to be into work didn't have break time didn't have lunch time didn't have time to go home it had nothing for me for two days. On the third day, it said I don't exist. So I was done. I put in a two week notice on December 22nd for my last day being the 5th of January. 
And I asked my boss, how am I supposed to do this? You know, two big nose thing. How do you want me to do this? So he told me and I did what he said. And then <laughs> he, no, apparently the day before my last day, so the fourth, he had told me that he had emailed them about it. He was supposed to, and they never responded to him. So the day before my last day, I find out that maybe it's not going to work out for my boss. So that I didn't like, but I'm like, no, it'll be fine. They'll, they'll probably put in the system like they're supposed to, and they just didn't bother to email about it. So, you know, message them back or anything like that to confirm it. So fine. So I went to work on my last day, left, came home. Didn't go to work on the 6th because I don't work there. So on the 7th of January, they called me telling me who they were and verifying it's me. And then asking, actually your things was, we're just wondering if you're going to come in to work today. To where I was silent for a few seconds. And then I said, I put in a two week notice on the 22nd of December and my last day was the 5th of January. And then she was like, oh. It was like, I'll get this fixed in the system. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I even turned in my badge. The day, like, the day before, on the 6th, because I get off at 10 o'clock at night at this job. So on this, they're not there to be turned into. So on the 6th, on the day I wasn't at work because I don't work there anymore, I went into the building. I asked the one woman, who do I turn this stuff into, just to make sure. Then I asked the other woman, who do I turn this in? The one she told me is the person turned in. She said, yeah, it's me. So I turned in my badge. I turned in the card that you scan to get in the door and I turned in my headphones because it's a customer service over the phone job. So I turned that in to her and made sure it was good. Then I asked her again about how they told me to do the, you know, turn the two week notice to make sure that was in everything. She's like, yeah, it should be it. I was like, she imagine her like, yeah, that's what he said to do. So she said, yeah, it should be fine. So after that, I left to then get a call on the 7th from them wondering if I was going to come into work that day. So no, so after that I tried, no, 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 that was, oh, I was not happy, but I was like, fine, so, and then it was bugging me, and it's like, I was, I didn't feel good about it, so I called them back, and I left a voice message, because nobody picked up, saying, you know, when I put in the notice, and stuff like that, and when my last day was, and wondering if they could give me, and I told my badge, number, what my badge number was, and I wanted to know if they could call me back to tell me how to, how do I get, proof to do you know make sure it's confirmed and tell me if it was you know actually processed in the system and everything so then after that I had called the actual corporate to find out if you know how would I do this and stuff like that because after so many mess ups I mean total's going to be corrected and everything all their stuff is going to be fixed and they just continue to mess that stuff up after telling me it was already fixed I don't really trust them anymore so I called corporate and corporate told me I have to talk to the head of HR, which is a problem because HR was a department that was messing up everything. All that stuff that was incorrect was HR's job to make sure it was correct and to fix it. They messed up all of it a few times. So <laughs> I was not happy about that, but I called the head of HR, left her the message, and now I'm waiting and I'm going to wait until next week. You know, when it comes to a work day and stuff like that, probably Tuesday to call and see if it's in the system or anything like that. Because apparently corporate cannot verify that it was submitted correctly, cannot verify what my status is with me. Found out that to do employee verification, you actually have to fax information to them to have them fax it back to you and that can take three days. So, I do not want to end up being non-rehirable even though I did everything they said, dealt with all the things they messed up. And then finally was, I'm done with this. Put in the two week notice, work the two week notice like you're supposed to. And then they call me because they didn't process my two week notice like they were supposed to. So that was the final mess up. And if they put me down as non-rehirable, that's gonna be another mess up because the point of the two week notice was that I would be rehirable so I could put down rehirable in other jobs. That was it. it was the job, I was fine with it. I was fine with the actual job. I did not have a problem with that job. Yes, sometimes people can be annoying. Who cares? That's life. But messing up with basically my money several times is a problem because that system that has my schedule in it, that's how you get your bonus. If I adhere to my schedule, then I get a bonus. If I don't have a schedule to adhere to, I don't get a bonus. So 
that was more money. <laughs> that was another mess with money. And that was the last mess up with money. That was it. That was, I was done. And then they also told me the GM, that section that does your scheduling was fixed. It wasn't fixed. It now had me out, said I don't even exist anymore. So, no. That would, no, two weeks notice. <laughs> I'm out. Oh my gosh. So no, I don't feel secure in spending money on things right now, and I'm not going to. It's until I get another job. But right now, I don't want another job because now with this problem, I need to be able to walk into that business anytime to find out if they fixed it and then possibly have to file paperwork. And if I have a job, I can't do that because they're only open certain hours for me to be able to do that. So the job I would have to get if I want to be able to walk into this job and fix things would have to be a job that's open after this business is closed. And that's kind of limiting job wise. So I'm going to wait to try and get this fixed. And I'll give it about a week. I've got all the money I needed to take care for my bills and everything else like that. I made sure I had that because I would rather work overtime, which I did. I'd rather just do overtime and get paid extra money and then have all my stuff taken care of. That way I can save more money. I'm that type of person. It's, I'll put savings above buying new jeans when I don't need new jeans anyways just because they're cute. They're like, no, I don't need new pants. I don't need a new coat. I have a coat. It works fine. There's nothing wrong with the coat. I don't need new shoes. I already have too many shoes anyway. I have a pair of tennis shoes for exercising. I have the boots. I have another backup pair. It's, I've got heels for, you know, work and stuff. It's, I don't need any more shoes. It's, why not? I don't know. Ugh, I guess. So, yeah, so that's the problem. So, I'm still annoyed by that, but whatever. We'll see what happens. And, oh my goodness. And then my friend told me that the company I worked for before had gotten into trouble for something else. And I'm not really going to speak on that at this time. I'm going to look into it for myself. And we'll see what happens with this company. But that's the problem that's going on. So I just want to be able to fix it if something does happen. So that's really what the problem is. It's not really the job or anything like that. It's just the HR at the job had messed up before and didn't listen to me when I said it was incorrect. Then didn't listen to my manager when, you know, my team manager, when he said it was incorrect. And then we had to send somebody down there in person to try and get this stuff fixed because they weren't even answering his emails after a certain point. <laughs> they said it was fixed and it still wasn't fixed. And I was like, it's not working. So anyways. <sighs> So, Alright, I'm gonna go and cut this open and work out because right now I'm a little stressed and working out helps me with that. So, have a great day and well, great night. Well, actually, yeah, great night. But yeah, alright, bye.